All right, so let's get started. Uh, you've had and uh, watched the course intro. We've gone through the syllabus. Let's go through a module, and um, you're going to see how each and every week works. It's the same, okay? And this is what I call a practice module. So we're going to do like a little mini version of what we'll do again next week and, and then the subsequent weeks. So um, the, the film that I have this week is just a, a, what we call a short. And it's on YouTube. And I have it embedded for you on the pages here in Canvas. So you don't have to worry about ordering this one. OK? So um, what you're going to do every week is open up your module. And probably the first thing that you're going to see in the module is intro screen. And that's going to tell you about the film. That's where I'm going to lay out for you those things that I want you to watch. You're going to take the quiz. Then you're going to post uh, an answer to the question that I pose on the discussion board. And then after you post, you're going to comment on two of your colleagues' posts. We're going to do this each and every week. Okay? So this module is to give you an idea of how the week's going to move. With the only exception being that the short runs about eight minutes. Most of the features that we watch will be closer to the 90 minute range, some a little bit longer. So you've got to carve out some time uh, to watch the film. Next week, we'll do the same kind of thing. It's again a little bit of a, a practice one, but we'll do it with a feature length, full length film. And that, again, I'll remind you to order now so that next week you can uh, have the film ready to go. Um, as I mentioned in an earlier video, uh, once we get into the semester, as long as you've uh, been in and done the work for these next two weeks, I'm going to go in and give you the full credit of the points, regardless of how you scored on, on the quizzes. And remember, that's your little banked 100 extra points. In effect, you can miss two weeks, two modules, and you have those 100 points. You can still get an A in the class. Okay. So um, I want you to understand that 100 point banking thing and that that is in lieu of any extra credit. I don't do that. Can't watch an extra movie. Uh, you have to stick to this weekly, week by week uh, uh, schedule. And we need to go through the syllabi and, and see how that works. Um, this week, there aren't any reading assignments, but the link to the textbook is there. So you can download that if you want to and take a look at it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I think it's pretty, pretty informational. So how, how do we go about decoding films? There's a whole bunch of different ways that people categorize them. Um, action, drama, comedy. Um, what, what I've done is tried to pick movies from the decades, from 1945 on. And what I want to do is look at how they're made. And to, to be able to identify that, you're going to see these terms each and every, every week. All right. And um, this is going to allow us to objectively look at a film. And rather than get your opinion on it, I don't really care if you like a film or not. What I want you to do is be able to decode it and analyze it and understand why it worked or didn't work. And, and these five categories right here are what we're going to use as our criteria. OK, so the narrative, that, that just means the story. OK, uh, in, in this class, we group the director and the writer together. They both are responsible for it. Uh, if you choose to study this discipline and move on, you can you can learn more about how each does their job. But for us in here, we're going to credit both the director and the writer. Sometimes they're the same person. Uh, and we're going to look at storytelling and we're going to look 
at, at the structure of the story. I'm going to explain that to you. And then most of the films that we uh, will look at, they do have a moral. Uh, so you, you're going to need to identify that. Okay. Cinematography, we've all heard this term, comes from photography. Only our images are moving. Um, cinematographers uh, are working in most cases uh, hand in hand with the director and they're trying to give the director the image on the screen that they want. So it involves camera placement, um, what time of day they're shooting, what time at night if they're shooting, and then what kind of lights did they add to it? What kind of effect are they trying to bring uh, to the story? Uh, and an easy thing for you to start to think about as you watch things is, where are they putting the camera? And why would they put it there? What we're going to see as we go through uh, the semester is that there's not a lot of accidents, especially in big budget films. If there's something that you're seeing on the screen, they want you to see it. Okay? And it's all planned out in advance. Editing. Uh, this, this is common sense too, but it may be the first time that you really sit down and look and try and analyze what the edit is and how it's moving from one image to the next. There's, there's a, a beautiful cut in the little short that you're going to see in a minute. And it, it, it cuts to black and then instantly the overhead compartment opens up. It's a great tool to get from one shot to the next. And we're going to look at editing in all the films. And what you're going to see is the speed of the changes. It gets far more sophisticated uh, through the decades of cinema. So really, how does it get from one frame to the other? And usually you're going to see a cut, a dissolve, or a wipe. This, this one's straightforward. You all have your actors that you enjoy. Uh, but we're going to try and take a look at what makes an actor a good actor. And you're going to see in early films that the acting doesn't ring as true to some of the acting that you'll see today. And, and that has to do with a number of factors. But, but we're going to take a look at this. And I'm going to ask you, are, you, are the actors connecting with you? That's what we want to know about there. And then certainly sound. Um, is, there, um, is there dialogue? So if you do the, the film class before this, from the inception of film to 1945, about half those films have no sound. So what, what and how is the director and the storyteller using sound in these films? And you're going to see it be um, pretty pedestrian at the beginning of 45, and then you're going to watch it get very, very sophisticated. Um, these are the five categories we're going to look at for each and every film. And while you're watching the film, what I want you to be doing is asking yourself what's going on with all five of these elements. Okay? So, uh, the, the short film that I have picked for you is... Uh, is from an Argentina director. It's a short in a feature. So he assembled um, a variety of shorts and created a feature. Features generally 90 minutes. A short generally falls under 10. This is only about eight minutes, a little bit less than it. This is the director. It was done in 2015. And then you'll find the film on the films page. So you just advance through Canvas and you'll be able to see it there. You can play it in the little window or you can click on it and also bring it full screen. And uh, then what we're going to do uh, is I'm asking you to take a look at the whole story. How does the story begin, the middle and end? All right. And then I want you to think about those five categories of filmmaking. So how is the story developed and told? Is it done chronologically? How is it shot? How is it edited? Is the acting? 
and what are they doing with the sound all right so those are the things that i want you to look at and then i want you to begin the mechanics of what we're going to do every week so i want you to post on the discussion board i want you to take your quiz I want you to go back and comment on what two of your colleagues have said. And this is how it'll work each and every week. So this module one, now you actually have a week and a day because of the holiday on Monday. You'll have to have everything done, the discussion board, quiz, comments, by Tuesday, September 4th. 5 p.m. It's at that point that we'll close that module and then we'll open up the second week's module. All right, last reminder get your subscription, order module two's film, which is on the way. I wish you luck, and if you have any problems with the content, um, send me an email. If you have any technical problems with Canvas, there's that 800 number I gave you uh, in one of the earlier uh, films. Okay? Thanks.